Hello, bassoonists. It's time to disassemble your bassoon and do some regular maintenance. So the first thing that you always want to protect is your reed. So I'm going to take my reed off of my bofel, and it goes in this fancy reed case. It's ideal that you have a reed case built for these reeds. Um, this one will hold four next to each other, and it actually has holes punched in the back. You can see my shirt kind of through those. Um, those holes let the reeds dry, otherwise they mold. That's gross. You want your reeds to dry. So, reeds in that case. The next thing that's really delicate is your bocal. So, like we talked about before, grab the bocal by that curve and gently take it out. Remember not to pull it. If you pull it by the end, this can actually crack up here. And these are like hundreds of dollars. Don't do that. Um, I'm going to safely store this in my case. It goes underneath everything. I'll show you right here. It goes underneath my case. And then there's little pins to hold it in place. Now we're going to take this apart in the reverse direction that we took it, that we put it together. So the bell joint assembly comes off, the long joint and the bell. And I'm just going to set that down for right now. Now if you've been playing for a while, you can actually uh, accumulate some moisture inside the boot. So keep these things upright while you're taking them apart. I'm going to carefully take the wing joint off. I'm watching for this bridge key right here. I'm trying to not hold on grabbing on any long rods or anything like that. Very important that you keep all your corks greased so that they slide easily and you don't have to grip really hard so you don't end up bending anything. Um, we will swab this in a moment and we will swab the boot. So the boot may actually have liquid in it and you can dump it out in a trash can. I haven't been playing long enough to have that in there. You're going to have two swabs. Uh, one is really skinny and one is a little bit thicker. So I'm going to show you two versions. This version is made out of white cloth, and this is actually the bigger swab. The little one is going to look thinner. So you can see this is a little bit thicker. And there's also a silk version in here. So yours might look like silk, and obviously this is big. And this is the small version. And this one actually has string on both ends of the swab, if I can get it unwrapped. It's just a little twisted around here. So this one has strings on both ends. Skinny string, a little bit fatter string. So right now for the boot, we're going to use a bigger swab. And it does have a chain on the end. I'm going to go in the wing joint hole, the smaller one, until it's down in the bottom. Tip it over, and you're going to try to shake it out the other one. And that weight should pull it out that hole. There's that ball and chain. And then you can pull it through to wipe out all the moisture that's inside of there. Go gently through the boot. I don't like the way this is fitting. I'm going to go the other way. I just went big to small. And that one's done. And I always know how my boot fits in my case because there's this ring on the back and that goes face down in the case at the top. And now the smaller swab is for the wing joint. So I'm going to go from the top down to the bottom and thread it through until that weight comes down the bottom. I'm just going to pretend that it's not long enough. I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to use this one. Because I've done it before. Make sure that you don't have any knots in your string. Big important part. Because knots can get caught on the inside. It's not completely smooth all the time on the inside. Some of the keys are drilled in and they're anchored in there. So here we go. It takes all the moisture out of there. Uh, when you're putting the wing joint back in the case, be very, very careful of your delicate little whisper key. Don't let it 
get bashed and rubbed off on the case. Okay, and then I'm going to take apart this assembly. This assembly does not need to be swabbed because water doesn't usually go down the wing joint into the boot and up. That would be weird. So this is generally dry. And the bell goes closest to the latch. And the wing joint and the long joint fit together in the case next to each other. And I actually put the lock on in the end of the case to keep them together. And last thing is seat strap. Make sure that you don't forget that. You need it next time. And I put that in the covered one. And then I put the swabs that I used inside the open hole so they're more likely to dry because they're more exposed to the air. So my swabs go away, my cork piece goes away, my reed case goes away, and you're done.